under sun and sky, Outlander. We greet you warmly. Under sun and sky, Master Orion. I managed to have Baladas join the council. Baladas will be joining the council, and as we agreed, I will be your patron. Please accept this silver staff of peace, the traditional patron's gift to his protege. You are now my mouth in House Telvani, with all the duties and privileges of that rank. So, what does that mean? While other counselors will insist that you stay in the Telvani council hall day and night awaiting my decisions, I understand the insignificance of the daily business of the council. So he did join the council. Yes, Baladas is now in the council. While I doubt he will participate as often as I would like, I expect we'll have his vote on crucial issues. This is good. So you're my patron now. I am your patron. So you don't have any more cores for me, right? Oh, yes, I do. I have heard that the blight has infested the Mudan Mule egg mine. Before we continue reading on, I'm going to mark this task as done and create an entry for this. Blight infested Mudan Mole egg mine. There we go. So what about that mine? This mine is due west of my tower here in Tel Vos, just a few minutes from here. There's also a shortcut if you go through the dungeon. The Kwama Queen there has a blight disease. If you wish, I can teach you a spell of cure blight that you can cast on this qu on the queen. Oh, that would be very nice. Thank you. It's a rather complicated spell. You should understand the principle now. You will find this spell is much more efficient than most. If you want, you can also buy scrolls of cure blight from the Hetman Abelmavia in Nises. Well, thanks. Thanks for that. Uh, about that mine. Yes, I've taught you the spell. Now you just need to find the queen and cure her of the blight. I guess it mean, means the queen will attack us. So the task is cure queen of then mole egg mine. And I also think we're just going to do this next. So any more words on Baladas? His support on the council will be useful for us. So can I advance any more? Yes, you are more than qualified for spell right. So let me see, do I have in House Telvani? I don't have a level advancements thing. A warm welcome to you. I'm going to first go and check advancements. You are qualified for a wizard, but first you build, You must build a stronghold. This is what I've been waiting for. I've never built a stronghold in Morrowind any, at all. Oh, so what about that stronghold? For matters regarding the tower, you should speak with Lunina Hilaren at the Telvani Council House in Sadrith Mora. Lunina Hilaren? She's in the Hermitage at the Telvani Council House in Sadrith Mora. So now I'm out for Hostelwani, my own stronghold is the quest. And the first task is to speak with Nila Aleran at the Telvani Council. And it seems that I can't write anymore. Thank you very much, but first let me address the measures of the mine. Thanks. Well, hello there. This is the right direction. Um, I can rest here, that's good. I'm using this to slowly descend into the direction that we want to go. And we didn't take any damage. If we did, I would have used the ring and tried to 
see if it uses up any charges. Maybe the things recharge when you rest, which doesn't make any sense. Why would I? Why would I want to collect souls then, except for enchanting them? If items recharge on their own, this is really weird. And I have the same. Assume this is a kind of glitch, but on the other hand, since I'm playing Open MW Open Morrowind, I would have assumed that they would have fixed that glitch. Because I did fix some some crashes and things that the original game has. Some um, some things that you can abuse no longer work. Wait, I'm we were waiting. going to do you do the the mine. I was now automatically on my way to the other place. I don't even know where the other place is, but we want to go to the egg mine, which is a shortcut if I go through the dungeons west of the tower. So I started out in the wrong direction. That wasn't like an automated thing. I go down from that platform and head to here because I want to go back to the mainland, but I actually wanted to, this time wanted to go in the other direction. And, and now the time has come for me to actually fetch something to drink. And I'm back with a glass of water. If you don't have something to drink now, you definitely should go pause this video and fetch something and take a sip. Because <sighs> drinking is important. West of the tower and co, I can go through the dungeon. For some reason I feel like going through the dungeon is some curious about the dungeon. and armory, these chambers, the southern tower, services tower, northeast tower, central tower. I assume that the dungeon is accessible from the central tower. So good. Sir, to do see. you know where the dungeon is? Oh, do you know where how I can get to Mudenmul Eggmine? It's due west of here. But I've been told I should Take a shortcut through the dungeon. Are the guards also Tilvani wizards and can thusly levitate? Because it seems this whole building is built with the premise that everyone can levitate around. Although NPCs never do so. That's the southern tower. Seems so. so this is the central tower. And there aren't any walkways on that um, on that vine here, so I guess I need to. But it's not like I can't let it. I just fail a thousand times casting the spell, but I still can do it. So let's levitate up there <clears throat> and see. My time is precious. So make it quick. Uh, three blessings, Sarah. Central tower. And of course, 
because the dungeon is down in the basement. I can only wait, and waiting does only refill my fatigue. Ah, this is the greetings, wise See, Walker. this is this is the glass armor, I think. I think he called me Nightwalker. Just, I just, I'm just going to say he did. I'm just going to say that the game knows that I'm Nightwalker. May you find all that you that way. traveler. So the central tower is just the museum. So good to see you. So the people of House Terrani now like me also. It wants something. What does it ask? Hmm. Greetings, Outland. Yowch. but we do get soul gems from them so now the charges not yet yeah, now the charges have been used okay this works and I'm going to use the red soul so the the thing said in order to recharge items I just drag the soul gem onto the item Okay, I have no clue how the recharging of items works. Ah, I drag it onto me and then I choose recharge. Okay. This one has 10 points of charge. Okay. So this should have trained my enchantment skill. And this is basically what we need to do in order to train enchantment skill. Sleep in this bed? No, I can't. I want to be. There is no bed for House Telvani members in here. Under sun and sky, Outlander, we greet you warmly. May you walk in warm sands. Okay, um. So this is the lowest level. This. Okay, I guess there's something went a little bit wrong here. Um, but that's, that's it. There's nothing. So I guess we just need to walk westwards. Hey, at least we killed two bone walkers. Do I have a soul? I, yeah, I do have a soul trap spell actually already. And I'm so bad at mysticism that at this at, at this um, fatigue level, I'm unable to Greetings speak Outlander. it. Uh, don't I know you from somewhere? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm a famous member of House Telvani. Actually, I just have become the mouth, mouth of Master Aaron. Speak, Traveler. Greetings, Outlander. So he has a name. Uh, don't I know you from somewhere? He also offers training. Interesting. I don't need any of these. Thank you very much. Now I can also rest until healed and then use my levitate spell to simply down from here. No, ah, yeah. You levitate not by <sighs> play, being playing too much Minecraft. There you levitate by double tapping space if you're in the creative mode. So. It is west of here. So 
So to the west we go. The scroll of your dealing, we use our life ring to heal ourselves. And we're in the Gracelands region. I remember that there's a shoe brand called Graceland from a specific shoe store, or I think it's the store brand that store or they market it as, as their store brand. That's an ancestor tomb. That's oh that's the dungeon. See this is the entrance to the dungeon. Well no I don't learn my lessons from oh let's, let's just follow this road. It should lead to a dungeon. the tomb that is not that interesting to us. We want to go through the dungeon into the egg mine. And by the way, the cure of the light disease. is an on-target spell with a 48% chance of succeeding and you're already low on fatigue or don't have any fatigue left, which is nice. Okay, here we go. Basically, this should be the entrance to the dungeon. And I guess this is the... Ah, this is the exit of the dungeon. This is the egg mine. Most definitely. Okay. Let's try to trap the rat. So now the rat should be... From the sound of it, the rat should be having a perfect effect applied. Now we use our fire bite spell. Kill it, and we've trapped a soul. So this did work. We can also paralyze on touch. Another life ring has used two charges, but it was full when we used it once. As I said, there is some rule that has things recharge. So even an item that restores magicka as a usage effect would be nice. That we can recharge. Do we have a soul gem of an empty? Yes.
is that we do need Magicka to cast the healing spell. So I think we should use this to kill the enemies. Yes, that's what we're going to do. We're going to stay on the safe side. Just need to remember that the um, fireball actually has an explosion. We did five, a five foot explosion. So if there is an enemy right next to the queen, we actually might kill the queen. We're allowed to take these eggs, so we're going to do so. Because the eggs restore uh, restore fatigue. Okay, they are not very. It's like value two, weight two. No. Destruction speed is. There, the light. Yeah, I think the items recharge when you. When you rest, which to me makes the recharging using souls pretty obsolete. There we go. Another worker. So if I need to rest anyway to recharge my Magicka, why should I then um, there we go. This takes 13 points, well this this other one, the life ring, as long as it's charged, doesn't take anything. So yes, an enchanted item with Restore Magicka would actually be very awesome. So there is the Blighted Queen, which we can cure using Orion's Blight Cure. And the queen is cured, so now we can head back. <coughs> Let's try get going back for the dungeon, shall we? Because now we know the entrance, one of the entrances to the dungeon. rest up first and I'll check if the ring is also fully charged. Yes it is, so yeah, that's what it is. Resting recharges all the items. So yeah, lots lots of charges of that was that was, that was a bit overkill. Um, lots of charges of restore magicka or rather strong restore magicka would be pretty awesome actually. So, let's sleep again before enter the dungeon. Wow. 
Wow. Okay, let's not go through the dungeon. See, this is why I want to have the glass armor, because many of the attacks are actually physical attacks. And that's the distance that we're going to skip, so... Also, we can sell the life ring because it's too weak. It doesn't really help us. This little bit of life loss doesn't really do us any harm. I guess he said there is a shortcut because if you walk the if you walk the path, you go down here and you walk down over there. But we don't need to hit the path. We can just go up here. That, of course, is if you know where it is. And levitate. Met Outlander, what is it? <laughs> no, you're not going to. Blame Three me. blessings, Sarah. Is the blight cured in the Muden Mall egg mine? Yes, it is. So the queen is no longer blighted. Very good work, mighty. As your patron, I suppose I should give you some lessons. This book, though somewhat simplistic, has a good lesson on the school of alteration. It's called Breathing Water, so let's add that to our story time. So, what's, is there something else to say about the egg mine? You've already cured the Quammer Queen. Do you have more cores for me? I admire what you've accomplished in House Telvani, but any student of mine must learn the rudimentary wizard spells. Oh, what are they? Okay. He wants me to learn specific spells. First of all, we finished the egg mine. Learn. You know what? Let me check if I already have them. Nope, I have not. So learn wizard spells. And for those, I need to learn levitate. This we should already have. Learn fire damage. This we also should have already have, because we, we did research the fire damage ourselves, but we gained, we, we learned a spell. Um, yeah, fireball, greater fireball or firestorm. And um, recall we already have. So I guess it's the fire damage, because we do know why levitate. And then it's Fireball, Greater Fireball, or Firestorm. Thank you. So we have the Wild Levitate, that one. That's what we. That's the one we learned. We do have Recall, but we've been using that for a long time. And the Fireball spells... Well, that's actually Fireball. That's weird. Recall. Uh, it could be that we learned the fire bite and created the fireball ourselves or something like that. Welcome. So I'm friend. going to go and I learn so I should know you. Hmm. 
Well met, Alf. I mean, I needed to learn levity to get here, right? So I'm going to check the major skill. Was something like Fireball, Firestorm, or something like that, were the names. So it's like I just need to create a fireball. That might actually be it. Let's try that one. That would also be interesting, although it's like 1 to 20 points for 3 seconds, so you don't know. You can't see how much magicka the enemy has, but we're going to check if that was at that time. The Firmament by Fafulke The stars of Tamriel are divided into 13 constellations. Three of them are the major constellations, known as the Guardians. These are the Warrior, the Mage and the Thief. Each of the Guardians protects its three charges from the thirteenth constellation, the Serpent. When the sun rises near one of the constellations, it is that constellation's season. Each constellation has a season of approximately one month. The Serpent has no season for it moves about in the heavens, usually threatening one of the other constellations. The Warrior The Warrior is the first Guardian constellation, and he protects his charges during their seasons. The Warrior's own season is Last Seed, when his strength is needed for the harvest. His charges are the Lady, the Steed and the Lord. Those born under the sign of the warrior are skilled with weapons of all kinds, but prone to short tempers. The Mage The Mage is a guardian constellation whose season is Rain's Hand, when Magicka was first used by men. His charges are the Apprentice, the Golem and the Ritual. Those born under the Mage have more Magicka and talent for all kinds of spellcasting, but are often arrogant and absent-minded. The Thief The Thief is the last Guardian constellation, and her season is the darkest month of Evening Star. Her charges are the Lover, the Shadow and the Tower. Those born under the sign of the Thief are not typically thieves, though they take risks more often and only rarely come to harm. They will run out of luck eventually, however, and rarely live as long as those born under other signs. The Serpent 
The serpent wanders about in the sky and has no season. Though its motions are predictable to a degree, no characteristics are common to all who are born under the sign of the serpent. Those born under this sign are the most blessed and the most cursed. The Lady The Lady is one of the warrior's charges and her season is heart fire. Those born under the sign of the Lady are kind and tolerant. The Steed The Steed is one of the warrior's charges and her season is mid-year. Those born under the sign of the Steed are impatient and always hurrying from one place to another. The Lord The Lord's season is first seed and he oversees all of Tamriel during the planting. Those born under the sign of the Lord are stronger and healthier than those born under other signs. The Apprentice The Apprentice's season is sun's height. Those born under the sign of the Apprentice have a special affinity for magic of all kinds, but are more vulnerable to magic as well. The Atronach the Atronach, often called the Golem, is one of the major's charges. Its season is Sun's Dusk. Those born under this sign are natural sorcerers with a deep reserves of magicka, but they cannot regenerate magicka of their own. The Ritual The Ritual is one of the major's charges and its season is the Morning Star. Those born under this sign have a variety of abilities depending on the aspects of the moons and the divines. The Lover The Lover is one of the thief's charges, and her season is Sun's Dawn. Those born under the sign of the Lover are graceful and passionate. The Shadow The Shadow season is Second Seed. The Shadow grants those born under her sign the ability to hide in shadows. The Tower the tower is one of the thieves' charges, and its season is frostfall. Those born under the sign of the tower have a knack for finding gold and can open locks of all kinds. <laughs>